All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, Ben. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doha Choi. All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Couple of chins here being tested early. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Oh, 
Strong defense there to block the shot. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Let's go. Burn his body. Burn his body. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Position. Not there. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, locking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his students certainly followed up on that account. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, nice. Nice. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Him over when he throws that kick. And they clinch once again. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Choi's face would have to be classified as a mess. Cut on his cheek and it's only getting worse. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, he said. Oh, strong punch there by Shorts. Nice straight right lance. Oh, single collar tie here. 
just misses with that one. Now we get back in range. Nice head kick. Huge block there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Single collar tie now. Straight punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar shot and land those nice elbows around the bar. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. and Might as well use it. Over and over, he's landing this big body kick. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Punch lands over the top. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Misses with the left hook. Oh, nice. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Continuing to go to the head. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Chor. That is a thudding leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Final seconds here of round number two. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Choice cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Great job with this combination, Leslie. I want you to stick with the striking game. You're destroying them like that. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. 
All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Flush right hand is true. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off this by blocking all these attacks. Head kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he... Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Punch over the top. Joy gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Good punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, no... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. every single body shot. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Big kick. 20 seconds left. Another shot lands upstairs. 
nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. Not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Clean left punch followed by the right. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh. Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Slips. Outstanding kick there by Choi. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. He got the turnover in that kick. Blocks the shot. So once again, leaning on that long reach as he counters effectively with a jab to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go now. Ooh, what a head kick. Visibly limping here. Circling towards the left now. Nice. Put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Big kick lands. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Keep that top position and work your elbow. 
Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighters did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Hard right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. It is the fifth and final round. Nice strike. Checks the leg kick. All right, he closes the distance. He gets the single follow tie. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big head kick lands. An uppercut landed. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Great punch landing with so much power. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure not to land. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice strike landed there by Choi. Big knee to the body. Left hand punch to the clinch. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Now connects with the right. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Choi gets the tie clinch here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. So both fighters here continuing to try to get... Oh! Uh, he's out! Oh, wow! That was nasty! What a performance! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bugliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.